seed and um, cyan wood and, and plants with other folks in the area that are pretty interested and also from Midwest and throughout the country. Um, so trying to find like regionally adapted genetics that will translate well to the area around here that are cold hardy and disease and pest resistant and pretty low maintenance. Um, yeah, I saw the Siberian peach, I have not heard of that. Yeah, it's, um, so that came from someone out in the Driftless Grove in Wisconsin. Um, it's like a, a really cold hardy peach. It's mainly used, I think, traditionally for juicing and for dried fruit. Mm, but it's actually great it. for fresh eating. Um, and it's, it's something that I think like once it gets established and starts cropping, it's a really heavy fruit cool. set as well, too. Juicing, um, that's really interesting. Yeah. I mean, a, such a thick kind of juice, like a nectar, you know? Yeah, exactly. But that's awesome. I yeah. love that that has that. It's almost like a syrup or mm -hmm. a nectar. Yeah, very, very rich. Um, and then the other ones, there's two more. So there's uh, one that's grafted, which is the first one here with the yellow tag on it. And that's a variety of uh, pizza that came from France. So someone I think had kind of throws away uh, okay. some cyan wood or something in their luggage like a few decades ago and brought them over here. And both were traditionally planted at the end of a uh, row of grapes and vineyards there. So they're called either blood peaches or um, vine peaches. You because said cyan wood? What is that? Cyan wood is when you have... Um, Scott. I see I okay. Scion. Oh, scion wood. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've never heard that term. Okay. So this is uh, right here. This is a graph union. So if you want to take a known variety of a plant, a tree, right. and graft it onto, right. you know that you're going to get like a specific type of apple, a specific type of peach, or other fruits. You would basically collect a branch from the tree that you want to propagate, mm -hmm. that you want to grow more of, and then you graft it onto a rootstock that's maybe selected more towards your soil type. So gotcha. something that's going to be more resistant to heavier soils or right. certain disease or pests. Okay. The scion wood is basically the top portion that you're collecting. And that's the variety that you're looking to actually ah, collect the fruit okay. from. Your rootstock is everything from, okay. uh, from that point down. So it's literally like merging the two plants together. And this is, you can see here, like this clearly this line, which is almost like an omega cut, um, where the two were joined together. This is the remnants of what went on afterwards. So collected this while it was dormant over the winter and then in spring before anything starting to before the buds are starting to open or it's starting to leaf out on the scion wood you graft it onto the rootstock and join them together you wrap it with one of these bands to kind of hold things in place nice and tight all right and then you go around it with a uh, grafting tape or a powder film so that it holds it in place gives it almost like a little bit of a greenhouse effect keeps some humidity in there so that it doesn't dry out and you're basically um, gonna let that stay on they basically photodegrade so over time, it'll break down just from sun exposure. How long will it take for it to take it here? For apples are really the one that I've done the most of so far. Um, it's generally about, like, you'll know whether or not it's failing probably within six weeks or so. In my experience, maybe a little bit less even. Um, you'll generally start to see, um, like, callousing. So kind of how this is, like, you know, kind of pushing out all this cellular growth around here. It's starting to callous and harden off. And you're basically just creating, like, a link between the two active layers of uh, cambium between the rootstock and the scion so that there can be a flow of, uh, of uh, nutrients between sure. the two. And then essentially, this is now, so this was from the spring, this is grafted at third week of March. Mm -hmm. So this is figure seven months that it's been on here joined together. And now it's, it could be, you know, held longer if you had a larger container, but this is like well enough established to go out and get planted and do well.